I want to hit on Josh Allen. Why? In, in <laughs> with no, no, no. That's not what I mean. I meant as a topic, <laughs> not as a person. No. I want to. I don't. I don't. You can't even say touch in this instance. Uh, let's discuss Josh Allen. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, repeat. The game that we saw today versus the game that he played against Miami previously. Uh, not even that. Let's go back to Josh Allen, third start versus Josh Allen, 10th start. Versus 11th start. Yeah. What different, how different of a player was he at start three versus what happened against Miami? How many of those points were generated because of Josh Allen, the quarterback, instead of Josh Allen, the athlete? Because there's been a lot of Josh Allen, the athlete, I think touchdowns. He, he had some, he had, I think there was a blend of both today. So there were some quarterback touchdowns today. Yeah, especially the, the throw to Robert Foster. That was great, bro. It's a great back shoulder throw. We've been running I, slant, 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 slant all day, and I run a uh, throw back shoulder. You know, for as as, as good, good as I like Fo as much as I like Foster mm -hmm. in in confined spaces, I don't like. Fo he's not as quick. He's he's not as quick as I want. I mean, that he's that pass was still covered. Lines, that pass was still pretty covered. Like there was there was really no window to throw that pass. He didn't get great separation there. So he threw him open. Is what you're saying? He threw him open. Yep. I hate that phrase. It's that it, it you saw it today. You did. You did. I just don't like the phrase. But there were lots of passes from Allen today where the guys were wide open and he was still throwing the ball behind. He was yeah. still missing spots. Mm -hmm. I really think his elbow's messed up. I'm really curious about that, too. I just It's something that nobody's talking about. He does put zip on it. He does throw the ball well. Occasionally, he throws the ball well. He throws the ball with some pepper on it. Mm -hmm. But then again, when you take a look back at the film... If for every zinger he has, there's two or three run plays and a t and like a, yeah, in between them. Yeah, like that that little lob pass to McCoy. Yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. I understand he's trying. He's he dropped his touch. elbow. I mean, that was all. He dropped his elbow and flipped it up because he was getting pressure. Yeah. So that was one of those you want to get it out quick to protect yourself um, because they were coming after him. I mean, even when he didn't have the ball, they were coming after him. Because of uh, he ran for 135 yards last time, he and you got to think there's a lot of dolphins that were looking to rebound against the previous game, and who guys who may have a new GM and head coach next year. Yeah. So they're playing their they're you know playing what for their off. contract. Yeah. yeah, they're playing for their contract. I saw more Josh Allen the quarterback today in that Miami game than I've seen. Most of the season. That could have been the one thing. I mean, what I saw typically, what we've talked about before, as far as where Dayball goes with Allen, um, he had a great script. There was that lull that happens. Coming out in the third quarter was all right, and then there was another lull. Yeah, the second quarter was tough, man. It was it was rough to watch. It was tough. Um, the Bills just couldn't get anything going. They especially when you have an eleven play drive for forty yards. Well, not only that, but I mean it's. <laughs> You know, they walk down the field the first drive. They get the ball back in their territory because of the Edmonds interception. Like, everything's coming up Buffalo. And then you just, you're throwing up nothing. Like, you just couldn't move the ball. It's, it's, it's bothersome. I think what could have happened, once the Bills realized they were out of it, what was it 2-7 and seven at some point? Mm -hmm. Like, when the kid comes back, here's what we're going to try to do. These are the plays that are going to be we have to be able to run with our eyes closed. Okay. Not that what he calls with his eyes closed, mm -hmm. but they run with his eyes closed. All right. So these are 15, 20 plays that we're going to run from now all the time. That's what we're going to be good at. So then they just started consistently calling those plays with Allen every week to gain his comfort level. Mm -hmm. 
you could run these plays against any defense. That's fine. Unless they have this, this, this. Unless right. they're blitzing off of this. Then you read to check this. All those other adjustments and stuff. However, if you think about it, that's probably where the lulls come in. Just to see how the kid works through progressions with these plays that we're going to run a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, That could have been it. And it could have been... They weren't even worried about down and distance situations. They probably weren't worried about certain things. Okay, does it really matter if we win or lose? Well, from a confidence standpoint, yes. But in the long run, we want to try to get a better pick. We want to try to grow. We're not making the playoffs this year. Okay, let's try to grow then. Try to do all of these things with analytics. See if they work. They know what works, what doesn't. I. I take a, a little bit of a different approach there, right? So the things that I saw today that I liked was getting the ball out quick, right? They took advantage of defensive alignment mm -hmm. and got Allen some high percentage throws, right? They got some easy, so. some easy completions. Yep. yep. Allen didn't check to any of those. They were already called. They were, are, they were already called. And that's what bothers me a little bit. Is that it's not like they went in the huddle like, okay, Spider 2, Y, Banana, Zay, they've been playing you off the last four plays. If, if, whatever, whatever the play call is, Spider 2, Y, Banana, who cares? And, you know, Zay, if they're playing you off again, I'm going to tap my thigh and let, that lets you know, don't move. I'm just going to gun it to you. He could have. We don't know. we got to watch the film again. I'm telling you, it didn't happen. That's not. Those were, those were calls. He probably did a subtle... Because I saw him a couple times actually come up to the line and point the, the mic out. Mm -hmm. That could have been his cue. Or he saw our episode last week or two weeks ago where you said uh, whenever they're running the ball, he doesn't do any work at the line. He just goes like this. Yeah, that's it. Just, okay, hike, ball. Um, <laughs> I doubt he watched our show. I seriously doubt he watched our show. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, if we, if we had him in the backseat talking, it would be hilarious. Would he fit? I fit, so he'd fit. I'm getting closer to him <laughs> as far as weight goes. <laughs> I'm only ten pounds away. So you don't. So <clears throat> you think it's possible that he checked those? I don't it's think possible. there's. I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell that happened. There's there's a way where you can go. You can come up to the line, and even the most subtle things that you can do work mm -hmm. as far right. as calling a check. If he's coming on my left side or right side, I'm going right, to wipe my pant leg before I bring my hands up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna adjust my – he's got that one brace on his arm. Yeah. I'm going to adjust my brace. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I do it in the huddle, then it's different. Then I, you know, Because I'm going to adjust it in the huddle, and then when I get up to the line, I'm going to adjust it. If I adjust it, then you run your quick route. If not, then do the whatever route that we call. Well, and let me ask. This could, could be. It could be a bunch of things. Well, let me ask this. If you're looking on throwing those quick those quick routes like that, right? He has how the does arm that to do impact, it. Yeah. How does that impact the protection at the line? It doesn't. It's, it's almost like a run protection. Because you fire out. Because you don't want anybody trying to knock it down. Right. Well, I just remember Allen checked to. Um, checked. Alert. He checked out of a play today and ran into a blitzing linebacker on the outside, right? So with the play action, yeah. You remember that play? It was the rollout play that, action rollout. That, and he ran into it. Yeah, that was a miscommunication between the line and what Allen was doing, mm -hmm. which is why you should have your quarterback do line adjustments. Agreed. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Roy called something. Allen called something else, or didn't hear him. Right? Because the way that it, the play it worked was he made, ran play action to the left-hand side mm -hmm. to McCoy. DeMarco went by him and then started to block to the right, but yeah. was too late to get oh, there. Oh, yeah, way too late. He was right up on uh, the line. If that, was, if that was a check of a protection, you either have the line slide right to protect that, or you have the line slide left, and while Allen runs the play action, DeMarco automatically goes right. Right. Okay? He doesn't even bother with play action going to the left hand side. Well wouldn't you have DeMarco pick up the DT instead of picking up the or pick up the DN instead of picking up the outside linebacker? I'd have him pick up the outside linebacker. Okay. Because the DT will probably do what Edmonds did to the running <laughs> to back. Ken, to Kenyon Drake. <laughs> just yeah. plow him backwards. I 
look at those plays and I just don't, I don't think Allen is doing anything but basic one or one or two. I know? don't, I don't, I don't, I don't discount that at all. The way Dable's been calling plays all year, I don't discount that. It was just nice to see them have it in the game plan. I just would have liked to have seen Allen make it happen through communication instead of it just being, this is the play we're going to Yeah, we don't know. There could be little subtleties here and there that we don't notice. Uh, I mean, I've noticed some things about Allen. I've noticed him a little bit different today. He always has that wide-eyed, I don't know what I'm doing here look. Uh, okay. Ready. Ready. Ah! His staggered cadence is stupid like stupid good oh okay <laughs> that's pretty cool because you know who else used to do that LA man you just love drawing that LA comparison I love the LA comparison I can tell you Elway's mad love that LA comparison it's pretty uh should I show the video now hasn't seen it. If you haven't seen it, if you don't know what our Twitter handle is, it's on our Twitter handle. It's been there for months. Oh, yeah, no. It's, you're not finding it now. You're not finding it now. Well, let's go to the media section. Would it show up in the media it section? It shows up in the media. All right. Either way, um, it was good to see more Josh Allen, the quarterback today, than Josh Allen, the athlete. But I did not appreciate the Josh Allen QB sneak train that ran three times a day. Why send this guy into the offseason hurt? I think he's already hurt. That, why make things worse? Why? Why do it? I don't know. Was the topic that exciting to you? Yeah. You know I've always been questioning the play calling all year. I just... I just don't want to see in a game, in a meaningless game. You got I want Chris Ivory. Play, hey. I want you guys to play hard, but I don't want you to put voluntarily put your players in a position where something bad could happen. Mm -hmm. No, don't play careful, but at the same token, like on a fourth and two, you're running Allen up the gut on a fourth and two. Why? But if you are the QB coach for the Bills. Once, yeah, if you're Cully, you get to the locker room, you're like, Josh, great season. We're going to work on Blank. insert name of it thing you want him to work on. Number one priority. What's his number one priority for Allen to work on going into the house? Progressions. I want you to work on progressions and timing. Yeah, but how can you work on that during the offseason? You can, you, can you can take mental reps. Isn't that what Madden's for? You can, this kid, he not, he now knows after 11 starts pretty much what the speed of the game is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would I would go through film with him, and I would have the quality control department break down film and say, listen, this has to be, this is a play, this has to be out here. Was it line, you, or the receiver? Mm -hmm. You line or the receiver, that, why this play broke down. Mm -hmm. Okay? Bam, bam, bam. And you have him consistently go over that. You have him consistently go over that. Okay. Even bring him out on the field. You know what I mean? When he's he's got the guys in the off season. You know, you have him. I would have him have his wide. That's just I know sounds stupid. Where the receivers have to be, mm -hmm. right? In their perspective routes, where they're going to be when he has to release the ball. Mm -hmm. I would have him call his cadence, and as Cully, before he gets to the second cadence, I would call out a coverage. And have him drop back and have to read it. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So you know, okay, why are you going, red 80, red 80, cover two. Is that hot? And he drops back and he has to know by that fifth step where he's going with it. That's and, interesting. And, how, and get the footwork down to where that's supposed to go. See, here's where my little 
flag comes up when it comes to a QB development standpoint, right? The last quarterback that they developed was Nate Peterman. Same staff. Identically the same staff. The last quarterback they tried to develop was Nate Peterman. Okay, now... Is that Peterman or is that... Well, let me... Or is let that me, approach? Let me explain to you. If, if you're a cook, all right? Okay. You're a cook. You have to serve uh, a filet to somebody. Mm -hmm. I give you... A filet with a few imperfections in it. Okay. And then I give you a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference we're talking about here.